Uh, this is a video uh, on uh, how I can create uh, surfaces using the morphing of curves. I start with uh, four sketches uh, and first step what I do is I create a PC curves of the sketches and I hide the sketches. Okay, so the next step what I can do is I can uh, s simply uh, use two of such curves and create a uh, uh, surface between these two curves, but uh, this surface, uh, if I do, I create a loft, uh, this uh, surface does not follow these border curves, so uh, I want to do something else. And what I can do here is I can use uh, the method of the NURBS workbench to create such a uh, morphing surface. I select the south, the north, the west and the east curve. And then I create uh, a morph face this way. In the first instance I do not see the face, but I see some uh, helper lines, but I have a lot of uh, parameters here. So um, I can display the faces with this flex. I can calculate such uh, a surface, not south surface, and I also can create a west east surface. Uh, at the moment, there is no uh, big difference, but I've I hide this. We will later see the differences between them. So um, I hide it for a moment. So we only see the control lines. Uh, now the next step, what I can do is I can uh, change the number of these ribs. I only want to work with uh, three inner ribs and what I can do in this moment I can use a force with uh, pushes the inner uh, area down or up so we can see this uh, I will open a new view and I will display the surface. So I can run this here and we go back to see how the force works. So, okay, I change now the force and we see there is some impact on the surface. I also can switch the face. In this case I use this one and hide that one. And now we see I can push it down in this direction. Or I can pull it up. And this is only one parameter I use to get all these uh, kinds of curves. Okay, so what is the next step? I uh, once more hide the curves as uh, a face and only see the curves. The next step is I can uh, create a loft of this this curves. So, uh, and I can edit it, some of them. So, uh, what I do is, first I create for all these curves uh, flatten wires. That means, uh, if I look at the, 
at the curves, the green curves are not planar. Uh, so I have to create first the approximation of these uh, curves to get planar uh, polygons. And now in the next step I can say from this planar polygons I can create once more sketches. So we now have the sketches here. I hide all these curves and I hide some more. Here we see the difference. So, and now I have here sketches and I can use these sketches and connect them to a loft. this way and now I want to modify some of these sketches so I go to such a sketch this one and I can detach it from its source the source is this is f this flat fire and I can detach it uh, if it is detached I can double click and edit the sketch so now we see here the polygon of the control points and I can edit it and we see the surface follows and this I can do for the other sketches too. I detach it and edit it so this way I can modify each of these ribs to get uh, another kind of surface. Here we have uh, the configuration for the other direction. It's the workflow is the same. I have here uh, the morph. I have the count is four. I can change it up to each number I want. And when I have created this, the next step is I create flatten kinds of the curves this one then the next step is I use these ones create bearings of them and then I create a loft and then I go to one sketch I detach it and edit it this way to get here a, a smooth control point I have to add some constraint that means in this case there these two uh, lines must be parallel so that's it. So I can edit each of these uh, curves. Uh, 